Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we're going to ramble a little bit about Star Trek Discovery. <clears throat> now, Star Trek Discovery is a new, um, <clears throat> new series in the Trek universe uh, that started a year ago uh, with a lot of controversy <clears throat> because they're the producers came out and said, oh, this is in the Prime uh, prime Universe, the Prime Timeline. Yet, here we are looking at a show with uh, <clears throat> technology that is far superior than what Pike's Enterprise or Kirk's Enterprise looked at, or Next Generation or Voyager, for that matter, or even uh, Star Trek Enterprise with um, Scott Bakula. And so many were saying, no, this can't be in the prime timeline. This has got to be in the uh, <clears throat> the J.J. Abrams universe, the Kelvin timeline. But it's been said, no, that's not the case either. So it took, even though there's still argument that it's not the prime timeline, it's finally uh, kind of come out a little bit that this is the prime timeline. It's not a reboot. Um, it's not a story. It's not a timeline reboot, but it's just a visual reboot. So the events in the prime timeline are still the same. So everything that you saw in Enterprise and the original series, the next generation, all of those events still happen. The only thing that's different is the they've upped the uh, the level of technology and graphics for modern day viewers because let's be honest if they were to put out a new show set before Kirk and Pike with 1960 sets oh yeah you know uh, big Star Trek fans would love it but it wouldn't get it wouldn't get the type of viewership that CBS is looking for. So from a business perspective, I see what they're doing. I understand what they're doing. Um, I still think it would have been better if they had just set the series further into the future rather than trying to go back into the past. So I don't understand their methodology there. They could have just gone into the future and people would have been a little bit more accepting of the series. But with all that in mind, um, and also the controversies and arguments about it being a social justice warrior uh, left-wing propaganda machine and all this other stuff. To be honest, Star Trek Discovery is not that bad of a show. <clears throat> once, once you get into it and once you start watching it, it takes a little bit, but it does grow on you. Um, it's a different type of track. It's it's hard for me to put this track uh, next to the original series, Next Gen, Voyager, Enterprise. This is kind of like its own thing. Even though it's in the Prime Universe, it's kind of... It's, it's like Star Trek, but in a different... Kind of like a different view, I guess. More, more edgier, more grittier. Which, again, people would argue, saying that's not what Star Trek is about. Star Trek is about, um, you know, a, a hopeful future and, you know, all this other stuff. And, and Gene Roddenberry wouldn't like this one bit. And I get it. I do. I get it. Um, <clears throat> but for me, um, for the actual prime timeline and the classic Trek... Uh, that I grew up with and I just mean like the classic prime timeline for me Star Trek Online the, the game is a continuation of that because it's very much prime timeline it, it has that feel 
it has that feel of next gen and Voyager and and all of that. And it even and it and it it ties it all together. And they brought back uh, uh, original cast members uh, into it. So the game is that to me is the actual continuation of the Star Trek that we all know. And Discovery is like, like I said, it's kind of its own thing. Um, I don't hate it. I was very, very unsure about it to start off with, that's for sure. But I gave it a chance. I gave it a chance. I kind of stuck with it. And I, I liked it. It, 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 was, it was new. It was different. Um, it kind of pushed the envelope in, in ways that Trek hadn't pushed them before. There were, now, I'm not saying that I liked everything about it. I mean, there were some things that were kind of... Um, like, there was one episode uh, where Tilly uses the F-bomb. I didn't care for that. I mean, for for a family show, or what should be a family show, I thought that was completely unnecessary. It was kind of funny in the context that it was used, but... It really didn't need to be there. Not 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 for Star Trek. But again, this is kind of like a whole whole new thing uh, with it. So I don't know. It's very debatable. I mean some some are gonna say, well see, that's exactly why this is in prime timeline and and I get it. I mean I see both sides of the argument, so I just it is what it is. It is what it is. Um uh, I really enjoyed it when it got to the Mirror Universe. Uh, and it wasn't just one episode, it was several. So they really spent a little bit of time in the Mirror Universe. And I thought that was great. And I hope they do it again. Because the Mirror Universe that they portray, portrayed in Star Trek Discovery was a frightening reality. It was, it was, I mean, compared to what they've done in the, the regular Trek series... The one in Discovery was kind of freaky, kind of a freaky uh, mirror reality. So, but um, there is this big reveal at the end of season one, where Discovery uh, goes to a, a distress call of the Enterprise, uh, which is being captained by Christopher Pike. And so that's where it left off. And so season two um, is going to feature um, the Enterprise and Pike and most likely Spock would be in there. Um, now, it's not all about the Enterprise because this is Discovery. So it's about the Discovery, which I still think is kind of like an ugly ship. <laughs> but the Spore Drive is cool. All right. Come on. The Spore Drive is awesome. Um but anyway, uh, with the San Diego Comic-Con that's been happening recently, there's been trailers for all these new shows that have been coming out, and Star Trek Discovery is no exception. And they have a, a trailer now for Season 2, and I have not watched it. I've actually been waiting uh, specifically to watch this for my rambling series, so... Let's go ahead and check this out together. We have always looked to the stars to discover who we are. And hidden there is a message. A secret made of space and time. Visible only to those open enough to receive it. Captain Christopher Pike requests permission to come aboard. Well, Commander, this is awkward, but the best way to get into a cold stream is to jump right in. I'm here to take command of the Discovery under Regulation 19, Section C. Your directive is on the Institute huh. when an imminent threat is detected. Federation sensors picked up seven red bursts spread out across more than 30,000 light years. These mysterious signals are beyond anything we understand. Is it a greeting? Declaration of Malice. Let's find out. Aye, sir. Six seconds to impact. I am in total free fall. Trust 
Discovery has you, right, ladies? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, dear. This is the power of math, people! We have someone in common. My foster brother, Mr. Spock. He took leave. This is if he'd run into a question he couldn't answer. Spock is linked to these signals. And he needs help. On a collision course with a pulsar. Oh, what a relief. Thought we were all gonna die. Okay. <laughs> Wherever our mission takes us, we'll try to have a little fun along the way. Ruffle a few feathers. I look forward to it. Hit it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Linus, you okay? You look a little... <laughs> yes, I hear it's going around. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, that, that was, uh... That was interesting. Okay, so... Well, here are my thoughts. One... Why with uh, Captain Pike? So, I mean, Pike was with the Enterprise, so why does he need to be part of Discovery? I mean, I suppose that there's a special mission or something, but this is this is a ratings grab. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, ooh, let's put Captain Pike in season two people want to watch it now did they really need to do that uh, that just seems kind of like a cheap shot if you ask me um will it be interesting yeah of course i think it'll be interesting but i don't think they needed to use pike they could have came up with a uh another character and then of course everyone's been like well, who's gonna play spock who's gonna play spock and well, now, according to this, this trailer, Spock's not going to be on the Enterprise. He took leave. Well, that was convenient. Which has got me wondering, you know, who are they going to have play Spock if, if and when they bring him onto the screen? How much you want to make a bet it'll be towards the season finale that they'll, that they'll come across Spock? And maybe it'll be Zachary Quinto. Maybe. Now that would be some good fan service right there if it's if it's uh if it's Zach. Cause phew, Zachary Quinto is awesome as Spock. Um But I mean I'm guessing we'll see a little bit of the Enterprise. Um but it's it's mainly Pike captaining and I you know I just really I didn't because um what's his name Saru okay so Saru was was in command of discovery there for a little bit and I thought he would have made an awesome captain but now we're bringing Pike into this it just I don't know. I I I just I I don't like it. Um I'll still watch it, but I think this was just a, a poor move on the writers uh on the writers, honestly. Um I'm disappointed actually. I think they could have done a lot better. But that that's my feeling on it. Um I'm interested to find out what you think. What do you think about the trailer? What do you think about Star Trek Discovery as a whole? Do you think Season 2 is going to be better than Season 1? Um, uh, do you just not care? <laughs> Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, other than that, I'll see you in the next rambling video. I've got tons of other ramble videos if you enjoyed that one. And if you didn't, 
Well, I have plenty others to choose from, like the ones you see on your screen. Just click to watch. Simple. Easy. Even more easy is to click the station logo and subscribe. Yes. Do it. Do it.